Alright guys, welcome to another installment of Puzzle Art. This is Crystal Dragonfly, and we're on our second piece. And all I've done so far is do, um, oh shoot, gesso. I put gesso over it to help keep the paint from going everywhere. Alright, I'm in a blue mood right now, so I picked out a couple of my blues there. We've got navy, blue bonnet, and bright blue. I'm just gonna put some, put some down and go to town, guys. No, I don't know where this is gonna go. You can see that one's really watery. That one is too. <laughs> My blues are watery. That one's not. I don't know where this is gonna go. I'm just, we're going, we're going for it. Sponge sponge. And if you're just tuning in, the, um, what this is is a big, as you can see the big, you can see my hand, puzzle piece. Um, I got it on accident. I wanted a different type of puzzle piece, but this is what I, what I got. And what we're doing is, um, at least once a week, but sometimes maybe twice a week, depends on how I feel. Um, I will get a piece, I will just grab a piece of random puzzle and do something on it. Whether it is, um, whether it is uh, painting, drawing, it, you know, it's whatever I feel for that day. And then at the end of, when we've done all, I think, what is it, 30, 35 pieces, when we've done all 35 pieces, I am then going to... Um, put it together on my wall. So, but I'm, I don't, you know, I'm not thinking about this piece going to the next piece. So it's going to be this collage of art. I think, I can't wait to see what it looks like. So, there we go. Let's see here. Need some scraps or something. I don't know. This is from the little tabs, you know, the enforcers. We're going to use this. Make some different things. And I'm going to get some gesso out, I think. Do a little gesso. I have no um, thought process on this. <laughs> We're just trying different things. Let's see. That worked. Yay. I did pull up blue because blue ain't done, but oh well. I'm not too worried about that. I just want to put something down. I'm not feeling all great today. Um, my hands are hurting. So, yeah. This shows don't throw. <laughs> well, you need to throw stuff away, otherwise you're going to become a hoarder. <laughs> I think every uh, mixed media artist or crafter has a chance of becoming a hoarder because they do keep everything. But look at it differently. Like I said, this normally I would have thrown away, but since, you know, I'm like, ooh, that's a cool texture to put in and then afterwards you know what I could glue this down and paint over it would be cool texture so um, alright guys it is dry and I was debating what to do with this and just came in here I cut her out of actually my library gets these what are they called book page let me show you a book page and she was kind of on the front and so I just thought the silhouette was cool so we're gonna put her here and I'm thinking put a moon and I gotta make a moon, but a moon and some stars up here. I've got these wonderful little silver stars we're gonna add on. But I wanna darken up the sky some. So that's what we're gonna do before we add her in the back so what? And hopefully. Okay, I think I'm kind of 
it doesn't look good in here. I like that coloring. I like the lighter here. I think we should have maybe a little white for some um, kind of clouds. But otherwise, I like it. You're probably going, why are you doing that? You just took it off. But I'm not going to leave it like that. Alright guys, I did uh, add a little bit of grass. I think the, the coloring on that's good. So let's get our girl down and go from there. Alright guys, I got my moon done. I think it turned out really good. What I did for textures, I put on some gesso with some white, mixed it together. Put a thick, go ahead and go, buddy. A thick coat of that on there and kind of mushed it around. And then I took the heat gun to it to make it bubble, 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 boil, and trouble. So that's how I got that great moon like texture. I think it's just so cool. So that's how we got that. Still a little wet. Sorry, guys, I got grandbabies here. So, anyway, so yeah, that's how we did the moon. Now, I'm debating on rather... I was thinking about putting just believe up in the... Write the word believe. Uh, I think that'll look cool and white. And then put the stars around it. Um, so, I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to kind of write it like in a weird... Believe. Alright, I think that's gonna look awesome. And now I'm like gonna put these, glue my little stars down. And this is just um, Emerson's, Elmer's, excuse me, Emerson's. Elmer's Craft Bonds. Um, I get this at Walmart, back in the craft department. It works fantastic. If you just have regular old Elmer's, that'll work too. Use what you got, guys. Kind of the point of my my art, anyways. <laughs> um, so, I know y'all probably wonder why well, she shows some things and not others. Um, well, I have a very busy house. I know a lot of. I probably don't have a lot of. A lot of subscribers oops sorry because it my some of my videos can be really loud and it's not a um with everybody and some people probably well why don't you gotta do them when everybody's around well let me tell you i am raising an autistic grandchild grandson and he is four so we can have a lot of squeaks and screams in the middle of nothing um and he lives with me, you know, we're raising him, so I don't get that quiet time. He don't get very much sleep at night, so <laughs> if I try to wait for him, I would never get any of my art done. And why should I wait, you know? It's life. The apps to watch somebody that doesn't have noise in the background or whatnot, I wouldn't, probably won't enjoy watching me. <laughs> And I probably am going to work on my Believe a little bit and maybe do some highlighting and maybe put some color in the wildflowers. So, alright, I'll be back. I went around her in a, what is it, Stabello? Stabello? Yeah. Stays on type of thing. Um, if you don't have one of these i recommend you getting one it's s-t-a-b-i-l-o they are awesome it's like i think four bucks on amazon and it writes like a, a really good what crayola not crayola geez colored pencil but then you add the water and and then once it's all the way dry it stays on so I got this really deep purple, it's almost black, what is it called, dark plum. Is that about putting yellow type of 
flower, add in for some flowers, but I didn't want it to pop out that much, so I'm just going to kind of add a little back here, another dimension of thin. And then after this, I am going to be done with it. Besides that, I may be a little white on her jacket, I think. Um, I think that's, that's going to be all she wrote. I like the look of it, so... love the, pur the dark purple here. Dark plum, excuse me. So, so, I love it. She looks good. I'm excited. I'm going to add a little bit of white, I think, to her coat. Just a couple of lines here. And yeah, I'm rubbing them out because I don't want it really thick. Something simple as like that. I love it. I'm going to blend those out a little bit. But there you go. Believe, guys, there is our second piece to our puzzle. Happiness to you and go make a mess. Whoa, blessings. Bye.